In this video, you'll learn how to get a picture from the camera and display it in your Android app, as shown in this demo. Let's dive right in. I have an image view over here in my app and a button, it's very basic. You can go ahead and pause the video to copy this layout. Now in my main activity, I'm going to set an on-click listener on my take picture button. It's a new view dot on click listener. And inside over here is where I'm going to actually start to take the picture. But before we do that, we need permission to access the camera. So that's why underneath the manifest folder in Android manifest.xml, we're going to open this up. And up at the top, we're going to say that we need to use permission and then Android dot permission to camera. That's the name of the permission we need. So now we're done with this, we can close the file and go back over to main activity. In order to actually um, launch the camera, we're going to have to create an intent to do that. So we're going to create an intent and we'll call it camera intent. And this will be a new intent. And inside the for the parameter, we'll say media store dot action image capture, because that's what we want to do. Now to start an intent, we would typically do start activity and then pass in the intent. But in this case, we want to do something once the intent is finished. Once we've launched the camera and the user has taken their picture, we actually want to do something when we get the result back. So that's where we're going to use start activity for result. We're going to pass in the camera intent. And then we have to pass in an int request code. I'll explain what that is in a minute. But for now, we'll create a variable at the top outside of our onCreate method called int camera picture and we'll give this a value of one. Now inside for this second parameter for start activity for result, we'll pass in the camera picture variable. If we were to run this, we would run into an error because our app actually has to request permission to access the camera. So that's why before we can actually create the camera intent, we have to first check, uh, we have to check self permission and whether we have the camera permission. So we're gonna say manifest.permission.camera. And we want to check if this permission is granted. So if it equals package manager dot permission granted. If this permission has been granted, then our app can launch the camera. So we're going to cut this and then launch the camera intent over here. Otherwise, in our else statement, if our app does not have camera permission, then we've got to request the camera permission. So the request permission would say request permissions, and we have to pass in an array, a string array of the permissions that we want to request. So we're going to create a new string array and there's only one permission we want to request. That's just the permission to access the camera. So manifest.permission.camera. And then uh, we have to provide a, a code as well, another request code. Um, but it, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to do anything once the permission is granted or not. We only want to launch the camera and take the picture. This is something I can cover in an upcoming tutorial, but for now you can put any random number over here for the request code. So now we have the code to launch the camera. And if you run the app, we can see that this will launch the camera. To actually display the image that the user took in our app, we've got to override a method called onActivityResult. So if you do control O and type onActivityResult, you can see it's one of the options that we have over here. You can go ahead and press enter. And you can see it's overridden this method. Some of the parameters we have are request code, result code, and the intent called data. So this request code over here is important because it's got to match up with the request code we put in when we were starting that intent. So when we were starting the camera intent, for the request code, we put in camera picture, which has a value of one. So over here in an on activity result, we want to check if the request code is equal to camera picture. If it has the same request code that we used to launch the camera, then this means that this code over here is going to handle taking the picture from the camera and displaying it in our app. So in addition to ch checking whether this request code is the same request code for taking a picture, we also want to check if the result code is result okay. Otherwise, we may run into some issues when trying to get the picture from the camera. So for example, the user may launch the camera, but they may not actually take a picture. May th they may go back to our app without taking a picture. So that's why we want to check if the result code is equal to result uh, underscore okay. Now that we have this, we can actually get the picture from this intent called data. To get the picture, we'll create a bitmap object. A bitmap is a type of image format. It will say bitmap picture equals, and then in, the, in uh, parentheses, we'll type in bitmap, and then data.get extras. So this gives us a bundle, and from this bundle, we want to get data. Now that we have our actual bitmap picture, all we have to do is just say image which is the name of my image view, image.setImageBitmap, and then pass in this picture object, and we can go ahead and run the app. 
So the app is launched and you can see the imagery is blank because we haven't taken a picture yet. When I click on the take picture button, you can see that it's asking permission. The app is asking permission to, uh, to use the camera and take pictures because we have this if statement over here to check whether the permission has been granted or not. So we're going to go ahead and click while using the app. So now the permission has been granted and this time when we click on take picture, it's going to launch this camera intent that we created. And now because I'm using a virtual device, this is what I see through the camera. There's a, uh, I think a cat and a dog over there. So I could just go ahead and take a picture, click on this button, and I'll click on the check mark. And now you can see over here, our image view is filled with this image. And I click on take picture, and I'll take a second picture this time of the couch. And this time I'll click on the X. So I'm going to cancel taking the picture. You can see that it doesn't change. And there's no error, the app doesn't crash. Because we're checking if the result code is okay, then we're setting a new picture. Otherwise, we just leave it as it is. And this is all the code that you need to take a picture from the camera and display it in your Android app. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for future tutorials on how to read and write to external storage on Android. Until then, happy developing.